On today's show, I'm going to show you the e-box from eSun. Stick around. Hey, welcome to The First Layer. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. Every Saturday night, we do a live stream so we can get in touch with you guys and answer your most pressing questions about 3D printing. So, what is The First Layer? If this is your first time here, we are a show that explores the world of 3D printing through reviews, how-tos, tips and tricks, and all the stuff that you need to know about your 3D printing or 3D printer. Today's no different. We've got the eBox from eSun. What is the eBox? Well, it is a filament dryer and filament weigher. So, not only does it weigh your filament, but it also dries your filament. In case you're in a more humid um, climate, for instance, you might want to use one of these dry boxes. Now, a lot of people have made dry boxes and put in little things like these desiccant packs. And we'll just cut over and I'll show you what a desiccant pack looks like. There we go, there's a little desiccant pack. And uh, this is the e-box. We've got some filament loaded into it. I'm gonna show you how things work with this machine. So first and foremost, I'm going to pull out the existing filament. And I'm just gonna put it up here on my roll. And just leave it out of sight for a moment. Now I'm going to probably be in a little bit of shadow, but what the e-box is, is inside there is a heater. And if I tilt it up, I can kind of show that to you. You can see that there's a little heating pad down there below the main cradle. Now the main cradle holds your spool of filament, of course. It's good for one kilogram rolls. Um, you can see there's a space there in the back. Uh, how well you can see that. There we go. You see there's a space there in the back, and that's where your desiccant pack goes. Now, everybody gets a desiccant pack with their filament, or they should, and that is going to go right back there. So it's just gonna sit behind the little fan that's there, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn on the machine with nothing in it. So let's go ahead and hit that power button, which is right there. Let's get that more into our shot. And you see right now it is registering um, anywhere from two to three grams. Now we know that that's wrong because it shouldn't be s bouncing between two or three grams because we've got nothing in it. Even if we take out that desk pack, you can see we're still bouncing in around that. So we have to do some calibration. So we're gonna drop the desk pack back inside the machine and what we want to do is we want to, and I don't know how well this is going to be picked up by the, by the camera, but we want to make sure that we go over to the WOC mode. And you can see that the WOC mode is set to 220. Now, in order to set, this is the default weight of an empty spool from eSun. In order for you to be able to set for your spool, I've got an empty spool here from Spool 3D, and I'm just gonna drop that in there. And I'm gonna take this, well actually before I drop it in there, I should have actually made that go all the way down to zero. So we can see now we're at zero. We're gonna go back over and hit that mode button, which is right underneath the power button. We're going to go back to our grams, which is showing uh, one or two grams. We are going to hit the up or down, or we're gonna hit the up and down button. We're gonna hold them, and it's gonna set it back to zero. So it's set to zero now, so let's take our empty spool and pop it in there. And this spool is coming in right around 240, 239. So we're gonna take the spool out again. We are gonna go back over to the WOC and that's where you're gonna set your weights. And we're just going to use that up arrow key 
and set this to 240, not 250, we're going to set it to 240. This goes up by 10 grams. And now we can go back, hit that WOC till we get back to our grams. So we're back on grams now. When the light goes out, you're going to see that. So there we are back on grams. So when we put that in there, it's registering as seven grams, six grams, seven grams. So right now we are technically at zero grams. There we go. Now for some reason this doesn't quite get all the way down to where it's supposed to go. But the next thing I want to show you is by going over to, let's just uh, hit both of these buttons again. We'll reset that to zero. There we go. All right, we're going to go back over to our other mode, which is our time mode. And by pressing the up or down arrow key, we can set this for drying our filament. Now, there are five different modes on here. And if I look in the back of the book here, um, we know that uh, the number one, if we go to one, that is for uh, a PLA. Number two is for ABS and PETG. Number three is for PVA. Four is for nylon and polycarbonate. So we're going to leave it on one. We're going to grab our filament. We are going to just drop it into the machine. And we'll put in the line this up so it sits in there just right. There we go. Now we'll close the lid. And we'll go back to our grams mode. And on this rule spool, we have about 667 to 68 grams. I'm going to split the difference and say it's uh, 667 grams. Now, we've got something on our bill plate right now. We're going to take that off. We've got a magnetic build plate here, so we're going to just go ahead and uh, take that off. All we had on there was a little calibration cube, which we've got a little bit of under extrusion on, but that's not too horrible. Now the machine that we're using here today is the uh, Ender 3. This is not the Pro, but I have updated to go to the um, magnetic build plate just because it's a little easier it's uh, less futzing around as it were I'm just gonna get that last little bit of stuck on PLA there we go now I'm gonna put the bed back on there we are it's found in center and now I'm going to start a calibration cube. And we're going to watch the numbers on the uh, particular unit go down. So we'll go to print. And we'll just do that XYZ calibration cube. We'll let everything heat up. And then we will get a look at what's going on with the filament. So as our printer heats up, you can see that we're bouncing between 668 and 670 um, so we're kind of right on the cusp of that uh, 668 669 670 um, which is pretty accurate within a, a gram or so that's not too bad and now this calibration cube is not going to use a lot of material but it will use some it comes with the Bowden tube it comes with its own power supply um, and uh, it does come with this little flexible rubber connector that can help to seal off um, any air that uh, might want to infiltrate inside your box. Now we have the fan on, we've got some desk skinned in there, and uh, we are going to let this get started. We will have a look, we're at roughly around 668. 
we're going to turn this little camera so we can watch the print being done. And we'll come back after that print is finished. All right, well, let's now test the accuracy of our print. And uh, we can see by the uh, filament box that it's showing 667, 668. And we know that we started with it right around 669. So let's see how much plastic we actually used. I'm just going to go ahead and take off. Take off this mat, peel that off, still quite warm because the machine just stopped so I should probably let it cool down a little bit more. Yeah I think I probably should. Alright, so we'll get that off there. Now of course we're going to have some waste, we always do. Go ahead and put our mat back on for our next print. There we go. No bubbles. At least we hope we get no bubbles. Looks like we're getting a bit of a bubble right at the front. There we go. There we are. All right, so we got that done. Now, we know that our dry box was about 669, so I'm gonna turn on my little scale here, which is set to grams. Just kind of move that out of the way. And our cube is reading about Three grams. So there we go. So 669 down to about 665. We're in that three to four gram range. I think we did okay. Um, putting together this dry box is fairly straightforward and fairly easy. Uh, it does come with a great set of instructions. It retails for right around 120 bucks. So it is a little on the higher end in terms of the cost of this particular unit, but is it something that I would use myself? Um, probably if I was doing more in polycarbonates or PETG, uh, and I do uh, print in PETG from time to time, but it's not something I, I do all the time. Um, so one or two of these boxes in my arsenal down the road might work. Uh, probably I would only get one just because I don't do too many prints with you know that type of material so I probably only get one especially if I was printing nylon but I need an enclosure for that anyway which my uh, duplicator six in the background there uh, will do nylon just fine now is it accurate for the most part I would say it is we got a three gram cube and uh, we saw that so um, we're not too bad. I, I think it's, it's well worth having. At least one in your arsenal would be definitely worth it. At $120 to $125 Canadian, might be a little bit high. Um, but it's for those guys that are always printing and they're printing with different materials. It's not for everybody. 
Um, I would certainly look into getting one for myself, though. And I think I just might. Uh, with that said, uh, let's thank our staff. We've got, uh, of course, Brian Baker and Jess Corniching, who are not in the studio today. Uh, they are off on their own separate adventures. So I'm all alone recording and editing and doing all kinds of stuff. So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I want to remind you that, uh, of course, we now have merchandise. And you can find a link to that, our new t-shirts, both in gray and purple. And you can find those on uh, in the links down below uh, in the description. You just have to go to Teespring, the first layer, and you'll find uh, t-shirts like this. Now, remember, if you are going to get one of these t-shirts or anything from our store on Teespring, you can now get 20% off your entire order by using the promo code MAYFLOWERS. That's all caps. And the promo code again is MAYFLOWERS. And I'll put a link, uh, put that in the description down below. Now, again, if you're new here and you haven't uh, seen our show before, by all means, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ding that bell so you get notified every time that we do a brand new episode here at The First Layer. Brand new episodes come out every Wednesday now, uh, and then we do a live stream every Saturday night. want to thank Spool3D for allowing us to utilize one of these uh, eSun e-boxes, as well as the studio in which we come to you from uh, here at Spool3D. And uh, so they've got everything that you need from accessories to printers to uh, parts and filaments and everything that you could possibly want. Check them out today at spool3d.ca. Print it right. Print it with Spool3D. Well, that's my time. Uh, again, I will see you on a Saturday night. And uh, we will uh, talk about some 3D printing and answer your questions. So until next time, my friends, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. Have a great day.